Hello, hello, welcome. We are live here in the path of the solar eclipse. And it is, there's some faint clouds out right now, but don't fret, we can see right through them. So there is the sun. Totality is at 1.55 central time, um, but we have contact one where the moon starts to move in front of the uh, eclipse in at 12.38. So that is pretty sweet. Hello, hello, welcome. We're in Arkansas, success Arkansas, population of 98, but me and Sean came here, so we made it a population of 90, of 100. So that is the current view of the sun. Don't have the best tripod, so it's gonna move a little bit, but that is it. Um, the moon will start moving in front of it here in about uh, 20 minutes, so that is exciting. But pretty good data connection out here in Success, Arkansas, where we have contact one happening um, shortly. So there is, we're out here just in the, in a field so we might get the drone up live as well during totality. So we will see, but there's the blue skies that are coming our way. So it's gonna clear up right in time for uh, contact one, which is in at 1238 where we are. but we are ready. We got full night of sleep. The sun is above us and it is looking good. Gonna have to move the tripod every once in a while so it'll get shaky. But yeah, and I'll take you guys around our camp here in a little bit right before uh, totality. Hopefully everybody's having a great day today, a great Monday. It is currently hot, hot, hot here. I think that temperature's lagging a little bit because it's around 73 or 75 degrees out. That is pretty warm. Still getting a little bit set up, but there might be some quiet times um, during the stream. So put some music on and watch the sun pass by. Just trying to save some clips from yesterday really quick. But yet, it's going to be a little bit shaky, but um, yeah, we don't have a tracker or anything, so mainly chase storms. So pretty much stationary now, tripoded up, multiple tripods. So we do have some clouds, but we got blue skies moving in as well. So I have a plane that's kind of, I think he's doing a crop. Um, crop farming, so I have to be careful for that. What if we fly the drone? Tennessee Chase export. It's gotta make sure everything's saved. It is warm though. 
it is warm. There's a lot of places that are clouded out, so we came down here to Arkansas for the chase. That is the sun currently. I'm gonna move the tripod so it's gonna be a little bit shaky for a moment because we gotta manually track the sun here. But yeah, we're only running a Ah, crap. We're not running anything fancy here today. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Ah, that sun should come into view. We'll give it a second, but you can see the sun spots on it. A little bit of wind just picked up right now, which is shaking my tripod. So not the most heavy duty tripod. Might actually switch that out, but we will see. Just getting everything set up right now. All right, that'll be good to record audio through there. Everything's good. Hello, love from Canada, California. Watching the totality. Yep, we got a little bit here, but our contact one, when the moon first starts to move in front of the sun is at 1238, 1238 central time. So we are 15 minutes away so my math is bad. Um, 16 minutes away. We're now 12:38. Yeah, 16 minutes. 16 minutes away from contact one. Which is when the moon will start to move in front of the um, sun. So we got those clouds, but they're going to be moving out. Nova Scotia, Canada. Yeah, I think it's coming for you. Do you guys have a clear view? You're in the path of totality. So those clouds are moving out right now, but it doesn't really matter with the camera. But the sun will move into... Um, it'll move into the frame better. Hey Candy, welcome back from Germany. This is the Great American 2024 Eclipse. Plenty of signal out here, so no one's taking down the towers in the path of totality. So it is very sunny. We'll let the sun move into frame slowly. I'm going to snap some pictures to let everybody know that we are live. Yeah, Nova Scotia is getting some good sun. Hold on one sec. Just getting some pictures. Yeah, feel free to put on some background music and chill out and watch the eclipse. So we might even have a live drone view of the shadow coming across Earth, but that thing's moving at a thousand miles per hour, actually. So. But we have contact one in, what time was it at? Man, my memory is not good. Contact one is in 13 minutes. So in 13 minutes, the moon will start to move across the sun. Our total totality duration is four minutes and four seconds here.
I've been told there's a lot of uh, water snakes around here. So make sure to hit that like and share the stream for the great 2024 eclipse. So we have contact one in 12 minutes and then totality. It takes a little bit for the moon to move fully in front of the sun, but totality is in uh, at 1.55 where we are. 1.55 and 38 seconds. Sean is still here. He just went for a little walk. He was looking for some sea snakes. So you see any? Yeah. A lot? One. Saw one of them. Turtles and, fish. and turtles and fish. Didn't it look a little murky? We are live right now. Just YouTube. I'm on the sun, sun cam right now. So we are 12 minutes away, Sean, from C1. All good, all good. Take your time. This is a long event, so feel free to come in, pop in, pop out. A lot easier than storm chasing just sitting here. I'm not sure what kind of snakes they are. Not sure. trying to make sure my computer doesn't overheat in this uh, heat here. It's pretty warm. But we do not have uh, uh, yeah. Let me try to get a better better view here. That's still pretty low. No tracker here. It's all willpower. Try not to get it so low in the screen. With the tripod, but it is not cooperating. There we go, that's pretty good. You're in Jonesboro, Arkansas. Nice, not too far from there. We are in Success, Arkansas. So here is our So there's the clouds and they're going to be moving out. And there is the sun, our fireball. <sighs> Lots of snacking today. Lots of food waiting around, but we are eight minutes away from C1, eight minutes away from contact one where the moon starts to, yeah, I don't see the moon by it. So yeah, Sean, look at all this blue sky coming in. So during totality, we should be pretty good.
got your your mic on not yet just got to share this on Facebook really quick but there is the Sun it's hot out here so yeah. what'd you see down there Sean at your little uh, the water oh, down there of your slider turtles some what turtles some turtles mm. All right, this is where I'll be for the next two and a half hours, huh? Yep. Oh. Well, some cool tan lines from these glasses. Yeah. I'll show you guys around camp here in a minute, but we are seven minutes away from C1. So yeah, we are out here in nature. We're pretty much the only ones around here. So we got a great, um, great sound of all the animals around us. So we'll be able to uh, really document them. I had to come out here to Get the best signal in the middle of nowhere. So we do have clouds that are going to be, uh, they're moving out of the way right now, but you can't even see. <laughs> Look at what, uh, what Allie just said. You have to take off your eclipse glasses. What? You know, throw one on? Yeah. All right, um, that is the sun moving across the sky. So we're pretty cheap solar set up here, but these are the clouds moving out of the way. Yep, not long till contact one. Here comes your first visitor, Jake. Oh man, think he can get by? Uh, he can get by. Good thing we set up on one side of the road. I didn't even see him coming. Local or Eclipse viewer? I know, he had some stuff on the roof I of know. his truck. Didn't really stop to talk to me. Now, I thought he would, if he was a local, he probably would have slowed down. We are four minutes away from contact one when the moon starts to move in front of the sun. I'm gonna switch out from my sunglasses to my solar glasses. So we are four minutes away from contact one and it is at 12.38 for us, 12.38. Gonna move the camera. Get it a little more centered. There we go. Make sure our focus is good. So you're gonna see some data on the screen, but don't fret. It's just, it's all good. 
We're gonna get, look really close. For a second to get that perfect buttery focus. There we go. And we are two minutes away from contact one. So two minutes away, I'm gonna show you. Well, actually I'm not gonna show you cause I don't have good service. So what do, we won't show you camp right now. Yeah, we definitely. <laughs> what are you doing? I haven't seen the sun since October. You're taking you full really advantage. Close. Hey, you got your pigs out. <laughs> I don't know if people call them that. Yeah, toes, toes. <laughs> All right, we're getting close to contact number one. Unless my timing is off, but it should be in mere minutes. All right, we are a minute and a half out from contact one. Just going to grab my eclipse glasses. All right, we are exactly 10 seconds away from a minute out from contact one. <laughs> He's been doing this for the last four hours, folks. Yep. All right, um, 50 seconds, Sean, 50 seconds till contact one. Glasses are on. Where's my GoPro? Just gotta make sure that's recording. Boom, you're in view. I see a little dot there. Probably won't see much on first contact. It'll take about two minutes to actually see it, but here we go. Contact one in 10 seconds till contact one. Five, four, three, two, one. The moon has just touched the sun for the first time, but it is hard to see. You should start to see it in about two minutes, actually. I don't see anything, you? Nope. Yeah, I think it'll take about two minutes. Well, so I got the date wrong. Nope, that's it. Should have first contact right here. Should be coming out of the left side. Sure about that? Possibly out of the left side. <laughs> I think it's coming out of the bottom right, Sean. That's what I would say. Man, I am just backwards then. I thought it was going the opposite way. I think I see a little chunk out of it out of the bottom right. What about you? I don't know. Maybe. How does it look on the screen? Hey Al, it is looking good. There we go. Yep, that's the moon right there going in front of the sun. Oh yeah, that's C1 baby. Bottom right. You see it now, right? Mm hmm Yeah. You just seen this, Jake. What? I was going to pull yours up. You seen this? Oh, yeah. And I went, whoa! 
No, that's NASA's stream. But yep, that's C1, baby. We have made contact. Now an hour and, what is it, 15 minutes to totality. Hour 15 oh, geez. To totality. But I mean, it just keeps getting better for an hour 15. Then it gets worse for an hour 15. It's gonna be a little shaky, but not bad. We got the moon coming in right now. Using my glasses. Luckily the sun moves pretty slow. We have contact. We have contact. It's going to move pretty slow, but it will be fully in front of the sun in one hour and 14 minutes. Unless my math is bad, but that's what I'm seeing. All right, I'm going to flip. This is what we're seeing down here at ground level. So clouds are clearing out. Sun's going up, but I'm going to switch over to a photo mode so it goes black for a second. And it's a little further away. Take a couple different exposures. So you guys get to see inside of the camera. But we are now, I might switch over to my heavier duty or tripod yeah i'm gonna switch tripods it's got kind of windy coming at us the gust front from the moon is just about to hit us oh sean look at that wow i mean it's not oh, much to yeah. change but something's happening it's happening it's happening sean says it's happening well you guys can hear him all right i am going to switch over if you um, are motion sickness, please take a Dramamine. I'm gonna switch over to a stabler tripod. This one's a little bit shaky. So, yeah. And I have my Eclipse glasses on when I'm doing this right now, so. <laughs> yep, still there. Hold on one sec. I'm gonna take the other cam. Actually, I gotta stay on this one. Good. Where's she at? Oh, there it was. There we go. Should have one of those trackers, but I know NASA. Sorry guys, just switching over to a more steady tripod. There we go. That's looking pretty good. Take a little video of that. That is C1 has occurred. If you don't have eclipse glasses, you're not gonna know because it's still perfectly sunny down here. It's still a little windy, but not too bad. Make sure to hit that like button and totality is at 115 or uh, uh, 155.
So we got clear skies happening. So it's kind of a challenge forecasting. C1 has occurred. Good view, thank you, thank you. So this is it. I'm gonna switch over and take another picture. Go dark for a millisecond. There is the moon zoomed in. Wow, look at that. You should come and look at this, John. Come through the beach. Oh yeah, there we go. Look at that. Good work. Thanks. That tripod's a little bit beefier, but still catches a little bit of wind. Gosh, if you even I've had it up on the other side of the door, dude. You think is that is that better? It's harder to move. I need to be looking at my laptop screen. Reach through the window. <laughs> yeah. That's all right. It's not moving too bad. Thanks everybody for tuning in. We're live. We have totality in a while, over an hour. So this thing don't move fast. Whoever calculated this stuff out, good for you. Totality is at 155 and 28 seconds. And then we can take our glasses off and it is gonna be crazy. So this is our current view out here. Clouds are breaking up, they are free. So that is the sun, but you guys wanna see this guy. punching in here so I was on a camera I need to move this manually so it uh, does take a little bit There is the moon moving in front of the sun. Sorry, I'm playing with it so much. We'll let that sit there for a bit. Your starts in two minutes, enjoy. Make sure to see it with your glasses on right now, but during totality, rip them off. If you're in the path of totality.
So we got a solar lens on there right now, but I do got to take this one other piece off of my tripod. So I'll shake a little more, but that's all right. Got to get everything prepped for totality for those important four minutes and four seconds. That is what we came down here to see. Four minutes and four seconds. of greatness. Making sure everything is ready for that crucial moment. So the sun is pretty much directly overhead. Yeah. What? No, where? That's the guy who drove past us, huh? Was he dragging his road? Huh. Got to get my computer in the shade because it is hot, hot, hot out here. Yeah, interesting. Yep, that's pretty incredible. So hopefully this app is right and we are in the path of totality. The sun is bright today. Let's take a closer look. Maybe that's a little too close. There we go, we're punched in on the camera. Yeah, it is 77 degrees here, so it is hot. I am definitely sweating. Probably smelled pretty bad from sleeping in the back of the truck last night. So make sure to hit that like button. We also do live storm chasing. So we were live yesterday in Western Tennessee chasing storms. It is bluebird up there where the moon is moving in front of the sun for an eclipse. Gonna snap another photo. Quick video. Oh, we're right on the edge. Should probably reposition that. And then we're gonna move to photo mode. Be right back. And we're back.
Eventually we'll have to replace this battery, but we got plenty of batteries. You guys like the punched in view closer or further away? I mean, that's a pretty good view. So it looks like Pac-Man right now. So totality happening. Right now. Just gonna take a quick video. Hey everyone out here at the great solar eclipse of 2024. So contact one has already happened. The moon is moving in front of the sun. We're live on YouTube. So get ready for totality at 1.55 central time. Be there. Man, I shouldn't have recorded that video with my glasses on. I couldn't see anything. At the great solar eclipse of 2024. So contact one has already happened. The moon is moving in front of the sun. We're Obviously, that's what an eclipse is, Jake. But yes, we are in northern Arkansas, or AKA Arkansas. Only had a 300 millimeter lens, but we are making this do just fine. Time to take another little video here as the wind picks up. Gonna move that a little bit more centered. So we're now less than an hour away from totality. An hour away from totality. Keep alternating between um, pictures and videos. So I'm gonna swap back, grab a few stills, hopefully, like to zoom in just to make sure that they're not blurry. But you can see the sunspot on the sun. So that tells me it's pretty much in focus. It's just a ball. I don't get it. Before this, you couldn't even see the moon because we're on the dark side of it. But there it is, it's a little windy out here. And I got a smaller tripod, so if I was into more astro photography, maybe would have one that didn't move so much in the wind when you're zoomed in to 600 millimeters. Looking through my glasses right now, looks sick. Looks sick. Oh, big gust coming. Big gust. Totality is in less than an hour. So here's my, uh, here's what I look like right now. Hello, got the glasses on underneath so I can see out, but then also look up at the sun. So Jake Heitman here. Is that a live image? Yeah. So cloudless day right now. We're gonna go take the wide because we're getting a little bit of a little bit choppy there. We gotta keep tracking this thing. So coming to you live from northern Arkansas. Ooh, that's a little too low. How's that? That's pretty center. It'll keep moving up. Wow, we're getting some serious winds.
Make sure to hit that like button. Keep checking back in for totality at 155. So we are 54 minutes away from totality here. I might try to move this camera. Oh, God. oh I accidentally looked through my, with my own eye. Got to remember to take intermittent videos and photos for the time lapse of it moving in front. That should be good. You only need a few seconds of video. Swap over to a photo. Photos further away, but we can crop in. Okay, took about four or five of those. Slight wind here as we approach totality. It's crazy that it's a Monday and this is happening, but the Eclipse don't care what time of day or the weekday. I should say. Totality is at 155 as we watch the moon go in front of the sun. That is when we have C2. Big wind coming. Oh my gosh. Moving the camera to the other side of the truck, hang on. And I think I lost connection for a brief moment. All right, this should be better. Still getting it. Still getting it, I'm looking through my glasses. All right, you're probably gonna see black for a minute until I find the sun in this thing again. There it was. There it is. All right. Should be less windy now. Let's take another short video. Make sure our focus didn't get bumped. We are looking good. We are looking good. Oh, my clips glasses just blew out. Gotta put those back on my head. Gotta remember to take some photos as well. What is going on? Fifty minutes to second contact. Fifty minutes to C two.
bringing this live from the great state of um, Arkansas. Just joined, are you using your view box? I'm using my solar eclipse glasses and then my camera to see the eclipse. But uh, also rotating through, taking pictures and yeah. But the sun isn't moving. The moon and earth are moving. I mean, the sun's rotating, but we rotate around that, so. But I'm not an interplanetarian. But that view box that you see, I'm just zooming in more so you, you, everyone can get a closer look. But you also got to take a little bit of a little bit of video here to remember to commemorate this moment. And take a photo. I switch a lot, but need to document this. It only happens. Well, in the U.S., the next one's 2044 or something like that. But that is that round option, option, object in front of the sun is the moon. Oh my gosh. The winds are picking up. I'm glad I moved to the other side. Oh wow, I was recording on my GoPro that whole time. Shoot, I've got to change the battery probably. All right, we're in C1 right now. We're uh, less than 50 minutes away from the total solar eclipse. We are less than 50 minutes away from totality. So got the camera up right now and the live stream. Oh my gosh, I just tripped over the tripod. That's not ideal. Number one rule when doing long range astro photography, do not trip over the tripod. So yeah, got the live stream going right here. As we wait for totality to happen. Wow, it's really getting there. We're in northern Arkansas right now. Gonna start prepping. We were the only ones out here, so I wouldn't fly around other people to wreck their experience, but gonna be flying the drone to try to catch the shadow moving across Earth. They're still farming out there. I wonder if they even know an eclipse is happening and they're in the best spot. And we had to drive 10 hours to get here. All right, I gotta do a quick battery swap on this GoPro and then prep the drone and keep snapping pictures at set inter intervals. So it's about every eight minutes you wanna get a picture for a perfectly timed sequence. Sean went for a little walk. He likes the uh, looking at the snakes just down the way. I might have to move the, I'm away from the camera right now, but might have to move it. And hopefully this GoPro battery isn't dead. 
Probably shouldn't have left it running by accident for half an hour in the sun. All right, full battery. We can record for 12 hours on this one. So that is good. This isn't like storm chasing, pretty slow and predictable event. Might have to say that again for the uh, YouTube video. But yeah, eclipse glasses are awesome. So yeah, this is uh, definitely different than storm chasing. It is more predictable and pretty easy and you just pretty much camp out. Oh, look at it, we're almost halfway across the sun. Wow, a wee wah. So once it happens, you gotta flip off the solar filter It's important to stay hydrated out here. I'm coming back to look at the camera right now. Oh, we're moving out. Knew that would happen. We're moving out. Let's get a centered view. All right, we're gonna take some pictures and recordings quick. Hello, everybody, hello. The moon is photobombing the sun. Hey, Mark Nato, welcome. Hope you're having a great Monday. No sun funnels yet, but maybe we'll get some solar flares once the moon moves in front of the sun. I talk like I'm an expert on this, but I have no. It's all from what I read. We'll have to change this camera battery probably uh, a little bit before totality. I kind of like this punched in view. What do you guys think? I mean, that looks so good. You can see the sunspots on there. Hey, Phil, thank you. Watch the tornado chase yesterday. Yeah, yesterday went very good. Glad to hear Mark. NATO, I can't not say your name without the NATO. Jethro, welcome. Thanks for tuning in. We are watching the sun move across, well, watching the moon move across the sun. Here in totality. So we are less than an hour away from totality. It is hot out here, but you can watch that temperature and um, it probably won't update in real time when we get in totality, like drop down, but uh, I don't know, it could. Forty minutes until second contact. Forty minutes. Trying to block the wind with my truck. Gonna prep the drone right now, but that'll probably just sit up there during totality. We'll launch it probably five or so minutes before totality. Probably won't do a live take of the drone um, when totality happens or when the shadow happens, I mean, make sure we got a good fresh battery in there. We do. That's looking good. Just trying to keep everything out of the sun until it is absolutely necessary to bring it in just because it is so hot on the equipment.
got to keep moving it. Don't have one of those fancy trackers that most of these uh, chasers have or storm solar enthusiasts have. Thanks, Rick H. We do have a view of the actual sun, but this is our uh, view all around right now. So we're out here in the path of totality. No one's around us and it is sunny. Oh, wrong way. I'll look up here. Oh, there is the sun above us. Uh, yep, yeah, right when, right like 20 seconds before totality happens, you got to take off your solar filter. So you got to be quick with that. But we'll get it, don't worry. I practiced it about two times before this. Let's take another short video. Gonna make a YouTube video, but you guys are get to, getting to witness it live. And then let's snap some pictures. It'll go black for a second. We'll switch over to the camera mode. And this is a little bit further away. Video is a little bit more cropped in. So we'll make sure that we can uh, get perfect focus on this. We wanna see those sunspots, but soon we are not gonna be able to see them. So only shooting here with a 300 millimeter, but once you crop it in, you know, like, let's go. That's a big sun. That's a big sun. It is Pac-Man now. You gotta decide when is Pac-Man time. There's another New York earthquake. I haven't seen that yet. During the eclipse? Oh boy. It's happening. 155 is our time of totality. Why is the background black? Uh, because if we expose for the blue, um, we wouldn't be able to see the sun or be blown out. So it is black and space is black. So it shall be black. We are almost well, I don't know when halfway is in between C1 and C2 is, but um, we're getting there. So 10 seconds before, we got to look for shadow bands on the ground. Yeah, these are not moving at the speed of light. <laughs> Well, let's do another little video here. You gotta keep tracking this thing. This is a lot different than uh, storm chasing when you're moving around. Now let's do another photo. I mean, it's just like anyone could Photoshop the moon in front of the sun, to be honest. But this is live, live from Arkansas. Northern Arkansas, clear blue skies right now. Some wispy chemtrails going across, but that's just 
the government not wanting us to see this eclipse, but luckily we came to the right spot where it's not going to be heavily clouded out. Oh, we got some wind blowing on the streaming equipment, cooling it down because it is a blistering 77 degrees right now. Yeah, this is going to be the slowest eclipse NATO. This will be my first total eclipse being in the path of totality. In 2017, I was in Minnesota. Um, I didn't have any glasses on, but I still looked anyways, like most people. And uh, yeah, I was seeing the eclipse for three days. Not sure if we'll be able to bring the drone live just because it feeds off of the uh, same internet connection. And um, I don't think I have enough bandwidth to switch over quickly. Four minutes is not a lot of time. So totality is quickly approaching here. We're gonna be coming up on 30 minutes till totality when uh, we have 30, what time was it at, 1.55? 33 minutes until totality. 33 minutes. I'm gonna actually restart my phone. So then that's all good to go. I'll move this again for you. Dude, it's happening. Yeah, it is. It's, uh, we're 32 minutes away from T-O-T-A-L-I-T-Y. You're getting red, dude. <laughs> I, no, I'm baking. Oh, crap. No, I'm getting, like, sunburnt, huh? Oh, jeez. Yeah. The back of your neck's getting it. Probably not. I'm like this. I'm looking up. Yeah, you'd be surprised. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. We are a little bit, 30 minutes, but I'm just going to, for this YouTube video, I'm just going to say 30 minutes. We are 30 minutes away from totality right now. So how are you feeling, Sean? Feeling good, enjoying the sun. Yep. What are you looking forward to most during totality? Um, there's the shadow bands, oh. um, uh, crickets yeah, coming out. Thing. We'll see what we see. Temperature drop. Here's for whatever happens. He's here for whatever happens. So yeah, I can't stop looking at this thing. Looks good. Oh yeah. What's your take right now? Do you think it's halfway across? No. You don't think the moon's halfway across the sun? It's pretty close. Like not for the whole event, but for C1 to C2. Yeah. It's pretty close. All right. Well, that's what I'd say, but you know, I am no professional. That's all right, but yeah. All right, it's about, I got the drone, I got the drone ready right there, but it's in the shade. So about five minutes before that, we're get, we'll launch that and probably just have it sit up there, maybe do a little bit of a 360 view. And then uh, five minutes before, we'll also hit the 360 max up top to get the 360 sunset. Are you drinking enough? I did take a little bit when you were gone. Drink, um, hydrate that. Yeah. Hold the sun. Yeah, I'm getting sunburnt out here, believe it or not, when the sun's not even at full strength. So let's move this. It is time to take another short recording. I had to move it. It was getting too windy on the other yeah, side. Yeah. This no, is working out that's, good. That's the way to go. Even though it looked like I'm in a lot of shelter, but yeah. <laughs> oh, we got a farm truck coming down here. We're gonna have to shut the doors on the other side. Do you want to shut them? Sure. I'm, he's like here. Oh, geez, Louise, shut the doors. So you might need to. Yeah. Good thing I moved to this side. Just one second, guys. We got a farm tractor that's moving by. Hopefully, that's enough space for him. Um, Hey, if he stops, offer him some glasses if he doesn't have any. Yeah, I'm gonna. So, yeah. You need some glasses? 
Big tractor moving by. He says he's got his glasses. He's got huh? some. All right. Work don't stop just because totality happens or a solar eclipse. Good thing I moved my camera over here, huh? Yeah, perfect. All right, let me get that center shot. Look at this shot on stream, Sean. Oh, let me see. Then I like to crop her in. Sweet. Bring her right in. Look at that. That's a pack. That's a Pac-Man if I ever seen one. We are coming up. We are 30 minutes away. We will be in totality in 30 minutes. I'm gonna tuck in the shade for a while. Let me see this. Yeah, look in there, yeah. So at like 20 seconds before, we gotta rip off this solar filter. All right. I'm gonna actually take off this, clean off this dust. So that is my skin ripping off that. Is it that mic I muted? Yeah, I think so in the bottom. There's no red X by it. Yeah, is that it looks the bottom good. one? Yeah, it looks good. So yeah. All right, got the phone restarted. Gonna make sure that um, all my times are accurate. How dark is the sky? Flip to normal cam. Boom. This is it. So we're not in space. It's still a blue sky. But with those little bit of little bit of chemtrails going by, they'd like to think otherwise, but nope, we're still good to go out here. So pure blue sky out here in northern Arkansas. We did a good job. Sean did a good job navigating to this place today to success um, Arkansas for the ultimate. Total oh, solar eclipse. I took that top thing off because oh. it was blow, like the wind was catching oh, it more. Yeah. And this way I got to spin this thing off like 20 seconds before totality, adjust the shutter to get the right speed on it. That's going to be the hard part is doing that really quick. But we got four minutes. You got it. I didn't really rehearse it too much. But time for another short video. I take a video every like, try to do about eight, every eight minutes or so. A picture? Yeah, picture and a short video. So... can but when to totality happens sean i'm gonna have i should want to get flagged <laughs> you know you I mean, how long? Uh, less than 30 we have 25 minutes so 20 minutes it's about to get um we're gonna start rolling cams so yeah As you can see, it is warm out here. We're in the path of totality. That's not your stream. We're about 30 minutes out. <laughs> and this is the view. Incredible. <laughs> oh yeah, go on, throw it up. <laughs> Let me take a, a photo. I just heard someone. Hold on, let me get it with the, with the sun. Got it. Yeah, yeah, you can. <laughs> okay, wait. Is there anything we can look through for shadows? For being, we have no leaves around us, for like seeing crescents, you know. Oh, I just took a long video. Let me take a photo. Then I'll read chat for a sec. We're getting close. Gonna do a battery swap too before totality. Remember, Sean, battery swap before totality. Okay. Doing about 10 minutes out. Bringing you guys, bring this to you guys live from Arkansas.
So this is the normal sky cam right now. It is white out there. It is blue, clear. And there is the sun. We are quickly approaching totality. Share as we get closer. Share and like the stream as we get closer to totality at 155 here. We'll have a countdown going on. And a tornado watch was just issued for um, parts of Texas and Louisiana. We got another piece of farm equipment rolling down here. They're probably working together. Busiest time right now is during the eclipse. Every solar panel owner is gonna cry for about seven minutes today, that is accurate. Oh, this guy's all over the road, Sean. He's kind of coming right towards us. Well, let him come. Hopefully he doesn't need to get on right here. Yeah. That car's coming back too. How are we getting so much traffic? No traffic all day and now we get all this traffic. That's the way of totality. That's the totality way. That's right, here it comes. Gosh, I said a clever line earlier and I, th I think you would have laughed, but I can't remember what it was. <laughs> Must not have been that good then. It was good. I made myself chuckle. No one else laughed, but yeah. Do they know that the sun's almost gone? He had some. He had glasses too? Yeah, he had them uh, clipped on his shirt. Think they know I have them? Yeah, they, they can tell. They can tell, okay. We're getting closer. To totality, whoops, wrong button. Our camera battery is about to die, but that's all right. We've been charging all day for this moment. Just do a quick battery swap. So we'll have to go to the blue sky cam in a moment. Let's take a really tight in shot right there. Yeah, look at that, wow. <sighs> look at that, excuse me. Oh, beautiful. You're welcome, everybody. Hopefully you're enjoying the stream. Oh, fans are pumping in here, dude. I know. You should get my, where's my little fan? I slept with it on most of the night, but I had to turn it off. I got chilly really? this morning. I want to roll down those windows. You can get a breeze through there. Put on, uh, uh, yeah, go for it. Do you have, I have both the keys or do you? I don't have any of them. Maybe we should keep this back one oh, yeah, there up you go. right there. There you go. All right, we're gonna have to do a... Uh... A battery swap. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, I just kind of punch in right there and let her rip, you know? Easier to track like that than to move the oh, whole yeah, camera. Oh yeah, sure. True and I get to push right in. Oh yeah, every time I look at it with like with my own eyes, I'm just like, wow. All right, get ready. We're gonna do a battery swap. Bang a bang, I'm a little bit of a fan myself. There we go, big fan of Jake right there in the chat. Love to see it. Sharp, what did it say? Sharp and fuzzy, fuzzy. shadow edges. Oh yeah. No, I'm not seeing anything. Oh. It looks like a normal shadow. Uh, That's fuzzy. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do a quick, you wanna press the two button on the thing to take the sky cam? Uh, sure. The big two. All right, yeah. Swapping batteries really quick on the solar cam.
What? Read it to me. Unless it's inappropriate. I'm so nervous. Fake? Oh, nothing to be worried about. Jake's got you in good hands. All right, you just take fine. camera one, please. That centered. How's that? Pretty good? Yeah. All right, we got a full battery for Total. Some call it that, some don't. There's some dust on there. It keeps coming on, I just cleaned it <laughs> off. But that lens we're gonna rip off anyways during totality. We should take another uh, photo and picture. What's our tea time, Sean? There's a lot to do during the, those four minutes, Sean. You gotta enjoy it first though. That's One, the most important thing. It's 137, what all do you need to do? Uh, launch the drone five minutes before. All right, Sean, your job is to hit the 360 camera. You just hit the button on the top and it'll start recording and leave it five minutes before. Oh, oh, that one over there. I think it's getting cooler. Yeah. Okay. Make sure to share the stream. We are live here in Northern Arkansas and totality or bust here because we're not moving. Sean, I think we're in, looking pretty good for a clear blue sky. Can you grab my GoPro on the, uh, right there, please? What are you laughing about? Oh yeah, Rick, this is, we're, it takes extreme skill to um, move this black piece of paper over a white sheet of a uh, white lamp so, but we're doing it live right here. So that's it, right up in the sky. We're flying up there, moving paper. Cell phones don't work. Oh gosh, guys, we gotta, uh, we're, we're definitely, we're turning quickly into a conspiracy <laughs> stream here. <laughs> Changa, give us your best. What do you got? Let's hear it. <laughs> oh gosh, he's pumping up, pumping up chat. We'll ban him if we have to. Mm -hmm. We are, what time is it, Sean? What time is it, Sean? 1.38. 1.38. 38. we are, how many minutes away? What time is totality? Less than 20 minutes away from totality. We are getting ready, just did a final battery swap. Might do one more, but uh, we're looking good. For totality, what do you think? It's getting close now. We are looking good. It's getting close. I'm gonna take another video here. Throw your best solar eclipse conspiracy theory in the chat. Let's hear them. <laughs> I know that there's a lot of a uh, lot of talk online. But yeah, why is the background not blue? Exactly. That's a good one. Oh, sorry. You switch over to your camera really quick or photo mode. As we approach totality. Thank you, this is a good shot. Thanks, Mark Nato. <laughs> it's not, <laughs> what, it's not fake. No, it's beautiful. Two, two and a half minutes for totality and. Ambient temperature, so I think it's getting a little bit dusk out, Sean. Look at this, look at this, the color is different. Unless it's my eyes. Well, I've been we've in been these staring glass... at the sun for a while. I've been in these glasses for a while. I'm probably seeing more yellow. I feel like it is getting a little bit different out here as we approach totality. We have 15 minutes till totality. Kind of like this guy. Yeah, neat. Give, give some good tips. Look for fuzzy shadows instead of uh, 
more clear shadows, but they look pretty dang sharp to my eyes, to my 2020 vision. You don't get why the entire sky is dark. It's because it would be blown out if it wasn't. So this is what the sky looks like right now. I'm gonna actually take the horizon so then we can get a good sunset maybe, you know. That's what it looks like on there, but this is the camera view. It's the solar filter. Solar filter, there. yeah. Otherwise it would be blown out if it was blue, but I'm not gonna change it right now. I'll show you after totality what it looks like if it was blue. Oops. We are approaching. Yeah, listen for the crickets too. We'll probably, um, let me test something out really quick. That should pick up the sound, more ambient sound right there. Leave it on our mics for now. Thanks, John Wright. Will you be able to pick up solar flares? It is possible. It depends on what happens during totality, but you should be able to see some on the edges of like the sunshine mm -hmm. watch for um like basically giant fires coming out of this sure. uh, uh the side i'm gonna switch to photo mode really quick just goes dark for a second as we get wow look at it up there you i know you're gonna have to take your glasses off but no, I'm watching is that. Is oh that, my gosh. Is that an airplane? Is that we an got airplane an airplane. Traveling? Is that one of the three rockets NASA's firing into the eclipse today? That might be one of the first Holy few to go. Headed directly towards the sun, if you ask me. Wait. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> Holy moly. You guys are not going to believe this. <laughs> but there is a plane going directly into the sun right now. It is actually... That's the wildest thing I've seen all day. There's a plane almost going perfectly through the sun. Wow. Luckily it just missed it. You're right, Sean. Oh, sorry. What happened? There we go, sorry about that. I think it's getting dimmer out. But I could be nuts. It's still pretty bright. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's bright. Go to sky cam. This is what we're seeing right now. Look at that plane coming in. Wow. Or that's the little chemtrail it left. Shouldn't call it that, but it's what it is. Let the people know. You gotta tell them the truth sometime. Now we sound like a bunch of whack jobs, but you know, it is what it is. We are 11 minutes from totality. 11 minutes from totality. <laughs> Turn the light switch on. Yeah, whoops. 11 minutes from totality. Oh, it's cooling off, Sean. Yeah, I'd say so now for sure. It's definitely cooling off. I'm noticing a temperature change. All right. How far out still? Uh, 10 minutes now. Wow. 10 minutes till totality. Okay, what, what do you um, want to do? Do you need me to do anything for you? just got to click the 360 camera, oh, but right. like do it in um, like minutes. five minutes. I'll try and make sure that it's actually on. Well Let's get this. I'm going to get this camera up and this stuff will be fine. The noticeable temperature change oh, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, I don't feel like I'm going to try it anymore. This is going to be the longest four minutes of our lives.
Is CERN turned on yet? There we go. Someone knows what's going on. I don't know. Maybe Changa Banga can check in on that for us. Are, Are we, we running the Hedron Collider, Changa? What do you know? Get ready for to pop your solar filters off. <laughs> Hear that? Yeah. Trying to get perfect centered on this. Taking one final, taking a video right now. You can start the 360. Thanks for giving me tasks. Yep. It's definitely getting darker out slowly. There's Sean up there on the tower cam, oh. starting up the 360. Don't do that. Got a little chemtrail coming out of his brain. Oh, I just shut it off. You gotta press it and then just let it go. Oh, really? Yeah. It is just a sliver now. It doesn't start showing like second oh there it goes it okay. should it might take a second yep the numbers are going on the red in the middle it's just sitting on one really Is that one minute no here let me see oh. it two it's going in very slow motion <laughs> do you have it on time lapse you i might have put it on time lapse maybe mode. you have it on time lapse mode oh my gosh oh, how did i do that <laughs> I don't know. you probably pressed it twice get the drone on the ground and then press the button please Right there's good. We're gonna be sending the drone up in the air to see if we can see the shadow coming. Put it on the ground first and then turn it on. Yeah, press it down and then hold it. I'm failing every time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. We should have done a pre-run. Okay. I'm just here to drive. You're good. Okay, 360's going. We are <laughs> less than 10 minutes away from totality. How are you feeling, Sean? Good. What are you noticing? Is it getting cooler out? Yeah, I would say so. Thanks, Hayes Nation. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Is this, in the, isn't this fun? Yeah. How is starting there. the 360 camera? Failed. Uh. Failed the camera, failed the drone. I don't even know why I'm out here. No. Okay. That's recording our audio. We have a fly infestation in this truck right now. So first order of business, flies are going crazy inside. How's our battery level? Good. Okay, one more video before we launch. And then a photo. Make sure no cars come, I guess. Yeah, you're good. Oh, shoot, they'd go right over the top of that thing anyway. This is connect up, connected to my DSLR, so it's a bit scoofed. Here we go. We are coming into totality. It is definitely, I didn't think it was going to get this dark. We're launching, Sean. Are we clear to launch? Clear to launch. Clear to launch. Launching drone. How are you on the. Can you whip this camera around and like just. Just film? for the next 20 minutes, sure? No. Oh, you want to. I can film during the whole thing. All right, we're putting the drone. Which way is the, sh the shadow? Should be coming from that way. We're gonna go up to our legal oh, limit of 400 feet. What's that? Sorry if I just broke your camera by shining it <laughs> No, it's fine. Okay. All right, we're at 400 feet. We're gonna make sure our settings are on pro really quick. Okay, 
Getting real close. Yep. America's choice, you're on it, that's for sure. All right, watch out, watch out. Um, where's my phone? Okay, I'll leave that drone right there, that's recording. I might have a wildfire down there, actually. We are four, three minutes out, three minutes out from totality. Cameras are rolling. Getting ready to pop the silver, uh, the silver, oh, wow. the solar filter off. Here, I need to get in there, Sean. Excuse me. Second contact in three minutes. Three. Start shadow band and horizon video cameras. Start your horizon and shadow band video cameras. You can use your phone too if you want to record, because it's going to be nuts. Oh, I, my phone's about to dead. <laughs> oh, way to prepare. <laughs> All right, we're less than three minutes out. Three minutes out. Got to get this centered. That's looking good. Going to switch to photo mode for a second. Get ready to change settings. Two minutes. Look, look for shadow bands on the ground. Right now? Yep. It might be a minute out. Just loosening the solar filter. Gonna make sure that we have perfect 90 seconds. 90 seconds. For Observe for shadow bands. Here we go. It is getting freaky out right now. Get ready to take your glasses off. Oh, just uh, put them on. Don't take them off yet. I think I'm still seeing the eclipse. Here we go. It is getting dark. 60 seconds. Observe for shadow bands. Observe for shadow bands now, Sean. My bad. Oh, yeah. Come look on the road. Oh, wow. Oh, look across, look in the field. Wow. Is that what we're seeing? Yep, that's it. That's shadow bands. That's shadow bands. All right, we I'm just, going. We just saw shadow bands. I'm going no glasses. Hands on camera filters. Thirty seconds, Sean. Camera filters coming off. Here we go. Totality is coming. We're getting Bailey's bead, the ring, right now. Oh my gosh. 10 seconds. Look at it. Look at the ring. Totality. Wow. Wow, look at that. Look at it with your eyes. Look around too, Jake. Look around. Yeah. There's the planets, they're coming out, look at them. Switching to photo mode really quick. Birds are silent, crickets are chirping. Totality, we are in it. Anything I can do for you? 
No, we're good. Just enjoy this moment. Look at that with your eyes, Sean. Wow. That is incredible. It is completely dark out. We have a 360 sunset right now or middle of the day set. Just take that in. Wow. I'm shaking. <laughs> I am. Because you're malnourished I'm and dehydrated. Shaking. Yeah, malnourished and dehydrated, but we are in totality. Three sixty with the drone. Max eclipse in ten seconds. Ten seconds till max eclipse. That's not even max yet. Five. Five four, seconds. Three, two, one. Look at the solar flare, Sean, at the bottom. Do you see it? You think that's what that is? Yes, that is fire coming out of the bottom. So what's the drone seeing? Uh just sunset all around. I did a three sixty view. Cool. Yep, that's a solar flare at the very bottom there. I don't know if my camera's set to see it. You can see that little bit of orange on the bottom. This is what it is outside right now. Totality. Thank you. Snow, you want to see Sky King? We're running around trying to handle all this business. And everybody else, on it out. You're being recorded, Sean. Yep. Yep, that's a solar flare. Coming out the bottom. Wow, this is incredible. Third contact in 20 seconds. Oh, cool. 15, 15 seconds. Flip back once or twice to it in the sky cam. I already did. Jake, look once with your glasses off quick. <laughs> I, I am. <laughs> That's cool. Here we go. We're coming back out. I can't find my solar flare because. Uh... Shadow bands again. Oh. I'm going to try to get a video because it was bad. They were ripping across the field the first time. Come. Plus 45, observe Umbra exit. Plus 60, enjoy the partial phase phenomenon in reverse order. Next notification is fourth contact. There we go. That was totality. So we're coming out of it now. Wow, that was incredible. I never experienced anything like that. I'm pretty sure I forgot to record, press record on my drone right away, but that's all right. <laughs> That is wild how dark it got. Dude, there's Bailey's like bead or whatever when it first went in and then the ring where yeah. it looks like a ring and then at the bottom there. So there was um, 
Bailey's beads for sure, and then the ring, which was really prevalent. Then on the bottom of the sun, there's a big solar flare. So that was insane, but we're coming out of it now. What a rush. Four minutes, that seems like not a long time. Feels pretty good, more than enough time to take a good oh, look yeah. around at everything. Take it in. Appreciate everybody being here on the stream. That was totality. Very cool. Time to bring the drone in and uh, wait for C C4 now. Yeah, like like rippling water across the ground. It only happens for a couple seconds. Animals went quiet, Sean, during that. Yeah. Hold on, I'm struggling here to get a good shot. Oh my gosh, it's not. Hopefully I got some good pictures during there. It's hard to get the settings right. Should we drive to Maine and try to catch it there? Sure. A thousand miles an hour, right? Yep, we need to be moving at about, I think over a thousand miles per hour to catch it. Hopefully everybody enjoyed that eclipse. Let me try to get uh, get my settings right again. I had to do a quick change during totality. But there we go. The moon, I mean, other, did you see the other, I think it was Venus that was, yeah. it was, that was very bright. I accidentally, when I first initially picked up my drone, I hit this bottom button. It makes the camera look straight down. <laughs> but yeah. Not sure what kind of footage got with the drone, but that was experimental. And yeah, last neat minute. either way. Doing some buzz in the tower. <clears throat> that was totality. Glad I could experience it with everyone here. That's such a cool shot of you walking around the <laughs> truck. Perfect. Pop the top if you want. No. No, you're good. Make sure I'm landing on. Uh, that's fine for right now.
three days, four nights, or four nights, three days, just to get here for four minutes of totality. Well, I want to do a quick uh, recap while it's still in our minds. Let me zoom in on this. I'll do a quick, I'm a video guy, you know. There it is, live. Let's get a shot of us looking up at the eclipse. Hold on, make sure I'm in there. Cool. Um, so, Sean, how was your eclipse totality experience? Uh, my eclipse totality experience was very cool. I thought that there was going to be no light coming from the sun at all, but you know, what? you live and learn. So well, there was light around it. Yeah, I That's thought what that makes there it wasn't going to be any light around it. I mean, it was like uh, completely blocked out. That was just like the solar rays shooting out. Yeah. So there was a really cool. I thought the coolest thing was the solar flare on the bottom. Yeah, that was neat. Yeah, saw some uh, shadow bands. Those were neat both times. We kind of saw them ripping across that field there. Yeah, that actually worked out perfect. Mm -hmm. Nice white gravel. Now oh, they just missed it. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys, you missed it. Turn around. Yeah. Uh, anything else? What'd no, you, uh, that was that was really cool. I'll do it again next time it's around. Twenty forty-five. Yeah. Right on. I'd make another trip. Definitely a once in a lifetime. Well, if you're willing to travel, you knew it multiple times in few, a lifetime. Few lifetimes, few times in a life. Yep. They're gonna come by and say, did we miss it? I'll hit him with it. Did we miss it? Didn't you see it get dark? Like, what was that all about? Thanks, Sue. <laughs> All right, let's take, this is what it looks like right now outside so pretty normal but yeah in the wake of it we got some trailing stuff back to Tillin And take a photo of it exiting. Thanks, Phil. Thanks, Terry. Thanks, everybody. Oh, no, they never stopped chemtrailing, not even for the eclipse. No time off. <laughs> mm. Here, Sean, come out here again. Jamie says we lost audio, boys, but I don't. Oh, I'm... no, we're good. Should be good. Might have been that was muted for a second ago. Yeah. Scary. Come here. So today is Monday. We left on Friday. Um, we storm chased for two days. We're, I don't know how many miles we're at. We're at a lot. We're coming up on 2,000 miles right now driven to see the moon 
move in front of the sun for four minutes and it was it was incredible it was i can't believe cool. the temperature difference that was That's, nice it was nice to have a little break it definitely it's still cool right now oh yeah but now we get to watch the sun move or the moon move back across the sun the opposite way to complete the photos we do have to sit it out and wait it out <laughs> But for the YouTube video, this is for the YouTube video, not the chat. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And we do do storm chasing. So stay tuned for that. We do a lot of live storm chasing. This is going to be a big year. Uh, let's try that again. One more time for the YouTube video. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. We go live storm chasing. And we post a lot of storm chasing content. See you guys in the next adventure. Johnny, you want to say anything on the outro? Any shout outs, conspiracy theories? No, no shout outs. Thanks for watching. No shout outs, but what about uh, any theories? No, no theories. I'm just happy to be here. I'm happy mm. your life's to be experienced. I'm just happy to be here for it all. Do you feel like, you're, do you feel changed at all? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, no, no, no. All right, that was for the YouTube video. We're going to stick around for a little bit longer. Yeah, that was for the YouTube video. Look out for that one, guys. That's going to be a good one. Yeah, well, you guys got to experience it live, but we got a lot of other angles. If I remember to hit record on the uh, drone, look out for that. But it didn't. It wasn't like an on-off switch. It was more gradual than I thought it would be, um, you know? So, yeah. Yeah, that was very neat. Take the sky cam for a sec. That's our current view out here. So it does smell like when I was droning up there, there was like a lot of yeah, like yeah. more than um, more than like a tractor would put off. Yeah, no, there was some smoke, but it smells but like there was fire. A fire over there earlier. So I know they might just have burn barrels. Uh, Adele, I'm still, I guess I still got a little bit of the shakes, but I'm coming down now. That was an adrenaline high for sure. You're welcome for doing the drive for everybody else. Glad we had reception and they didn't bring the towers down on us. You know what I mean, Sean? Uh -huh. The cell towers. Got to take it in with my own eyes for the last little bit. Amazing. You can stop rolling. Yeah, you almost had a time lapse of the 360 camera, Sean. That happens quick. That happens quick. Thing we got you out here. We got the right guy on the job, guys, that's for sure. Not sure if I captured any shadow bands on camera, but you had to, on that's the a, phone. That's a tough one, yeah. On the second one on my phone, that's why they say white piece of paper, because you can yeah. actually kind of see it. Fast to fly across the piece of paper. I don't even know. I mean, they were moving, yeah. uh, I mean. I've never seen something like that before. All cameras recorded, except for maybe I might have hit the drone button twice or not even pressed it. I don't know. But that one doesn't matter. I actually hit the down arrow on it, too. So. <laughs> but it was up there. It was up there. It looked cool. Yeah, it smells smoky. Are we still in uh, on screen with it, Sean? 
Yeah, it's getting, it's partially off. Yeah, I move it a lot with uh, yeah. this. But it is going away now. We have a lot of flies in our vehicle, so they must have been getting scared. Yeah, it really is filling up in here. Yeah. Your good window down session. Wow, I want to experience more. Yeah. I want more. You can travel to eclipses all the time, probably. I know. I think Every it, year. I don't know what, what um, the next one is. You're still running, right? Yeah. Running. Why? No, you're fine. What's up? Nothing. Hopefully everybody had a good experience watching the eclipse, either watching it here or watching it um, in person, but that was moving. I am moved. These flies are looking for my bananas. That's what they're here for. That's what it looks like out here. You know what they say, totality or bust. Trying to get this moon moving out. Totality, you're welcome. Hunting adventures. Comes up fast. We've been saying it all morning, two hours, one hour, and then boom, it was here. Probably should be shooting at a higher shutter speed, but hopefully it's okay. <laughs> don't tell me that. <laughs> I don't do too much practice shooting this, so it's all right. I'm a storm guy, you know? Normally, I don't even see the sun. John, look up at the, I'm just gonna take a. Dang, nice. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, let me get my glasses. Let's do a little photo shoot right now. I'm gonna stand on this side. Okay, ready? We're gonna look at it here. <laughs> <laughs> He's 
see my eyes out the bottom of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. There you go. Yeah. Right on. Totality. Uh, it was already there, <laughs> Vicky. But if you scroll back in the stream, you'll be able to watch it live again, or as live. Oh, you back. Not sure when C4 is, but it'll come up. Are you staying on your eight minute schedule pretty good? This time I'm gonna remember. Yeah. You should be able to have a nice sequence. Oh yeah. Here, this is a replay of, so that image is from Totality. Oh, that's sick. You can see the bottom part a little bit. It's flashing a thing. Wait, we can't. Snapping a lot of photos. Ooh, I took those at 150th. Dang. Let's take this, this video is a replay. This is a replay. Just getting it set. Oh, Jave, Jake, you're moving it all over the place. There we go. Oh yeah, you can see, look at the orange yeah, on the bottom. Very cool. Can you see it? You can see it when you're closer on the screen. That is a replay, but we're gonna keep it up for the views. <laughs> no. There's a live video from the Totality. Uh, I don't know what time it is, but a little bit ago. Yep, that's it, Sean. Very cool. Probably should have taken the stacked exposures. You learn a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You learn a lot. Comes around once in a lifetime, they say. Is the solar eclipse already leaving North America? That'd be crazy. I don't know what time totality is in uh, anywhere else. Oh, yes, 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 getting to be uncovered. Yep. Where's my glasses? Where's my glasses? There they are. Remember to stay hydrated. Yeah. What do you tip <laughs> over out here? It's going to get hot again. I know. It's, I'm already feeling it. Oh, my gosh. Don't sleep back here tonight. We're going to make it home, right? I know, I don't know how far we are going. We're not storm chasing in Texas, unfortunately, the next couple days. Sean wants to, but I, I, I got other things to do. Ow! Ow! I think I just got stung by a bee. Really? Yeah, ow, through my pants. Like right here, where I pulled a muscle. <laughs> I but no, it, those, feel, it feels feel it feels like a bee sting. Interesting. Hopefully it wasn't a snake. 
So you're really seeing snakes down there? Oh yeah, I got a video. You got a video? Yeah. Show me. Yep, still there. There it is. Wow. Just so you can go, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, you got a, enough of it. Oh. What's that? Yeah, he did pretty oh, yeah. good. Way off, way off Minnesota. Yeah, yeah. That was down from the cliffs. Like yeah, this. yeah. And we, he does storm chasing stuff. So oh, we really? were, we so, were in like Tennessee, Missouri, whatever. Yeah, there's some storms. Yeah, yeah, last yeah. night. Yeah. Yep. So yeah. yeah. Good stuff. That was neat. Yeah. Oh, I did. Yeah, there was. Time. Yeah, there was some down there. Yeah. Where'd y'all stay at last time? Oh, I just had a rest stop on uh, 55, I think it is. Yeah. So yeah. Yep. yep. Hotels have been wild around here. Oh man. Oh, I bet. <laughs> yep. It's been pretty cool. Well, thanks, Jack. Around. I think it's gonna storm again tomorrow. I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're heading back tonight. To or starting our way back today. Yeah, but. Yep. Yeah, yep. This is always pretty day, I think. Today, so. Yep. Yeah, that's why we came here. Well, has it been wet around here? No. Mm -hmm. It's been dry. It's been dry. Yeah. Way far. Way, way far. Yeah, yeah. Back where we're working back there. Yeah. I want to sit out. I mean, even up in Minnesota, we had. You're welcome, Phil. We're almost out of the eclipse. Yeah, yep, yeah, that is a Cummins engine running, I think. Uh, Sean's my good friend from kindergarten. He doesn't do too much photography.
Yep, have a good one. <laughs> Move the camera. <laughs> All right, I'm starting to clean up a little bit as we get into the uh, end of the storms. Where's my battery pack for my drone? Oh, it's in here, eh? It's very dry here. Yeah. Very dry. It's getting hot again. That's crazy. That's some good tea. There you go. Second half it seems way longer than the first half. We gotta finish out the entire eclipse. We gotta. We are getting there. Oh, I was standing pretty much and running around that whole time. Feels good to sit down. When C, when's this C4 happening? We know, is it? It's like 20 more minutes. No, dude, it's more than that. It's at 15, which is 315. 45 more minutes. Oh, wow. Longer? I don't know. Yeah, I was flying the drone. Not sure if I pressed record or not. Got to move the camera. Yeah, move this thing across the whole sky. <laughs> I can hope stuff doesn't end up in the way for the last pictures of the sequence. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. If I, I mean, I can move the whole setup, you know. Yeah. <laughs> move that. I got a picture of the sun. I got a picture of blackness, you know, pretty. Be easy to just slide that little bit of moon across. Going in for the picture. To chow. Appreciate every one of you who sticked around throughout the entire stream. This part is even a little slow for me. <laughs> it's basically baking out here. Pretty much on my feet the whole time. Every time I snap like four photos, but they're all the same. We we're the only ones on this road, so um, the eclipse was not that busy. <laughs> Alrighty, Sean.
you're running out of shadow. Yeah, it did feel nice to sit down. Eclipse. I'm gonna fill it up with water, maybe, or it could be Celsius. What? Yeah, but I, I already, I'm opening a new one. I was gonna get this ready for driving, you know? I'm having a big jug. Not that this thing's easy to drink out of when you're driving. You can still spill everywhere. That was weird. It did get windy before, and then once it started to cool down, wind basically stopped, and it has not picked up since. You notice that? Yeah. yeah. Just want to make sure someone else confirm. Yeah. This is when the busy part could be, for driving anyways. Those guys said, oh yeah, I could tell you're from Minnesota. By what, our accents? Yeah. Well, I could tell that they're from down here. Nothing wrong with that. Take a little stabilized video. Then in post, this is like 4K, so then we can just kind of crop it in and then kind of layer it on top of each other to make it look like it's going faster throughout time. At least that's my idea mm -hmm. anyways, because no one's going to want to watch a five minute second video of, oh geez, dripped over the tripod. <laughs> it happens. It's easier to move the sticks than uh, anything else. You go for some photos really quick. Oh! Bug down my throat. I pretty much just got that one. No way this is another 45 minutes, huh? That seems like a really long time. I mean, the first bit, well, for a few minutes it'll still be active. But you so you knew that it was going to go across like this? How? Because we are looking south. Uh -huh. It starts in Texas. Texas is to the south and the mm -hmm. west. So I guess that makes sense. I thought it was complete opposite side when I first was looking for a corner. Mm -hmm. Crazy. I'm like, there's two moons. <laughs> I got good video. I did do a 360 on the drone, and I was for sure recording then of well, the sunset. Yeah, you still make a cool video. Oh yeah. With all the different camera angles. Dude, these are flying ants, Sean. Oh. We have flying ants. <laughs> yeah. Why is it my fruit? There's a tour bus. <laughs> It's a U-Haul. All right. Just packing up here. You want to drive first? Yeah. Now, do you want to fill this up? Just getting some stuff. Uh... No, take your time. Oh my gosh, there's flying ants everywhere. Standing on my feet now for probably a good two, three hours, at least three. Not used to that since we're storm chasers.
You like just watching it drift off, huh? Don't even say anything. Wow, already happened there in Kensington, Ontario, Canada. Never experienced anything like that. Everything went dark, birds went flying. That's pretty crazy. So the solar eclipse now is pretty much done for the everywhere. That's nuts how fast it moves. Those are pretty nuts. Yeah. I didn't have a camera that zoomed that much, but um, yeah, got it. What do they see them? What do you mean? Just, oh, I should have taken a selfie. Oh, you got a little selfie during the park? I mean, I think I filmed myself, oh, but yeah. Oh, that's the move. Selfie with it in the background. Yeah. This one? Yeah. Yeah. Rip said wow i'm crying oh yeah jim just mind blowing glad you got to experience it up there in canada we're almost out of it here sun is back to its normal chemtrail state There's Sean Eaton. I think we got 30 pairs of glasses. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's cool that those guys have their own, which I'm that's been a big deal. Especially because around. they're in the path. Yeah. They probably had them. They're like, go to the grocery store. Yeah, why? Well, might as well get a pair, you know. Get them for the kids. <laughs> you know, they're driving. Everyone's driving around with them on. <laughs> hey, you can navigate by the sun, right? Yeah. <laughs> Right. Like beforehand? Beforehand, but yeah, really. It was dark. It, it happened pretty quick. Pretty quick, you know, you like looking at it when it's still the majority of its cover, it still seemed like a normal daylight day out here, and then all of a sudden. Mm hmm. What are those? That's the Alpen one, Jeff. Totality was a success. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to put this bin away. I got chairs in the way and tripods. Oh yeah.
Want one? Yeah. That's wild berry. What side? Do you want that one? Yeah, this would be fine. Okay. This is a kiwi guava. For me. <sighs> All right, time to take another recording of this moon and sun. As we're almost done, I think Adele would be mad if I didn't get these photos. Are you running anything on the loop jig? Or do you want me to... Oh yeah, we should take those down. We get better um, everything. Yeah, I'll take hold on yeah. or leave the antenna up still. Now we can cut that down too. Um, sure. Yeah. Probably gonna pop that frickin' stuff apart. On the highway, it'll be okay. Yeah, I'll help you too in a sec. Probably maybe one or two more photo opportunities here. As we dismantle the rig. Yeah. There should be, uh, I don't know which one is in. Oh, it's out there. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Hmm. No, I shut it off. But I'll take it. Thanks. This is what goes into, oh, I just took it down, dismantling the chase rig. Uh, the sun is rotating, but we're not. Um, the, uh, the sun is rotating, but we're moving around the sun. Yeah, go for it. it it's not. I'm not taking it or anything. Take the. Always have that plugged in and in your trunk. What do you mean? That camera. I mean, no. I take it off sometimes. Did you tape this all up the other day? Not full. I mean, it's fully been taped for the whole season so far. But then I just cut it open to change. The batteries last for like four days on that thing that spins around. And then the GoPro's constantly plugged in. Uh, no, normally I'll take it out if I'm not chasing. Pretty good. Good 
I do not have a Patreon. So maybe we'll do something with uh, YouTube memberships in the future, but. We're coming out. You just pull it out towards you. Here, I'll get you the clip. Actually, just put it down for now and the clip's underneath the audio equipment, so we'll get it in a second. Leave that one down. Put this one up. Actually, I can leave this one down too. It doesn't really matter because. so many cords in here to make these live streams possible, but wouldn't want it any other way. Wow, we definitely stocked up for food here. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Phil. Yeah, as soon as the sun is out of bounds, we'll be ending the stream. Make sure to uh, like and subscribe and we'll be live again for the next total solar eclipse in 2044 or 45. So stay tuned till then for 2044 and 2045. <laughs> right, John? That's right. There she goes. Almost there, please. 15 minutes left for that? Come on. Wow, really? Yeah. Well, the last three or four. I mean, I didn't notice it when it first made contact. It was about two minutes afterwards. But yeah. You can retire these, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> retire those. Here's this too. It's pretty dry. <laughs> Hopefully the truck starts. Uh, there's no reason it shouldn't, but oh, these are these are rocks. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. I'm not gonna finish this, Sean. No. No. Should I dump it out? Don't matter. Okay. Thanks. Looking good. Um, oh. it was for underneath my seat in there.
Oh, it's the other one. Just looking for my mic case. Put that stuff in after. Excuse me. Here's the last image of the total solar eclipse of 2024 for here in Arkansas. Man, you can hear the flies. Thank you all for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Hope you all have a good Monday. Oh, wow, it's amazing. Phil, Max, Colette, and Max's mom, Jackie, thank you for tuning in from England. Thank you. Thanks, Hunting Adventures. Phil, you guys have a nice Monday or Monday night, depending on where you're at. Across the pond, you know. So thanks everybody for tuning in. And we'll be live storm chasing here again shortly.